Okay. Hopefully you can hear that. So you can look at your tack times in this zone one and make sure that you're jamming out and looking good. So once you have once you have a first run study on this, if you hit your production on this one, that should cascade and predict down to the rest. And so just like with this attack wagon number two, it they took four days and ate into this buffer. And then Russell was asking the question, well, hey, if they're only starting here and they're at a four day tack time, is that gonna eat into your other areas? Like, are we in trouble? So as soon as you've seen a first area, you need to be projecting that throughout the rest of the duration. Absolutely a great comment. Next, somebody different. What else can you use these maps to track strategically in your meeting? I want more participation. Let's go. Uh, this one is from John Baker. He's sitting back here behind me. Okay. Sorry for the question while you were talking, but he, he was bringing up, you can track all your inspections, making sure you're calling for them ahead of time. Yes, you can track your inspections. You could have a little inspection board up here at the top where you had <clears throat> your area, the inspection, right? Uh, you can, and let me just go ahead and pull this out. Uh, where you have the inspection, you can have the, you know, the, the date, uh, who is, who's responsible, meaning who's gonna walk with that person, right? And if you keep track of that, and you just make sure that you're on top of that on a daily basis, you can also draw on your maps, hey, this week we have an inspection to cover zone number one, and you know that's what we're wanting to get signed off. 100% you can track your inspections. Keep going, I want more participation. Let's keep going, somebody new. What else can we track if we're using our logistics map in these strategic meetings? Let's go. Just time deliveries. Just in time deliveries, amen. So on this map, so I'm gonna go ahead and mark this right here. Just in time deliveries, okay? Does it go in the staging yard or does it go on site? So when you hear that deliveries are coming in, there's a couple questions that you you have to ask. And I do have to be pretty forward with this. If the assistant superintendent or the project manager or the superintendent has to do a material inspection. Now, that might sound silly, but if you have a delivery coming, the first question is who's gonna make sure that that's the right material? Who's gonna make sure that it's compliant? The second question is, where does it go, right? Um, well, actually, that would probably be question number three. The second question is, do we have enough of it? <laughs> so, if we're in a COVID-19 environment, we can't just assume that we have enough and wait till the last minute. We need to go count and inventory that stuff. Where does it go, right? Uh, that should be shown on the map. So you definitely on this map could be like, all right, most of that material we're going to stage right outside in our in our staging area, but we'll allow you to have two days worth and they're starting in zone three. So what I want you to do is we don't really want to eat into this corridor over here. Um, so I want you to use uh, this make this this room right over here because it's already framed and it's not going to get in the way of the other contractor you can just pull in this direction or you could say yeah use up against the side of the hallway the next question after you know do we have enough is where does it go if it's just going any old where then you're going to have to spend most of the day moving it coordinating it it's in somebody's way losing production it's not a good thing so on a project site with a superintendent that doesn't know what he or she is doing they're going to be doing a lot of moving materials, but not if you do it the right way. If you have deliveries, inspect it, inventory it, and make sure that you plan where it goes. All right, keep going. What are some other things that you can track on this visual map in this meeting? Somebody new. I'm going to say you're pre-staging where you're putting your stuff for the next areas. Exactly, pre-staging. Okay, what else? Next. Come on, everybody. Track your trade partner's progress and get them to do a look at it. Yes, track your trade partner's progress. Now, this is something really interesting. On your maps, and I've shown you this before, you can come over here and draw with, it's just on your maps, you can come in here and, and uh, let me do some opacity here, and draw the progress that you are making in each of these rooms. So as you eat through these areas, so let me just go ahead and demonstrate this. You can do this on a Bluebeam project or you can actually just mark it on your boards in the office. Hey, I, I went out there today, they got done with those 
three rooms today and I went ahead and, and as the superintendent did a final inspection. They're doing real good. Day number two, you say, hey, I went out there and worked with them. They got these rooms done. I'll show you, Mr. and Mrs. Project Manager. Okay, they got these rooms done over here. But this room, the office 2705, there's a problem with it. There's a coordination issue where we have to reach out to the owner. So they actually didn't get that room done. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out a roadblock, a little indicator over here, and say that there's a roadblock, and that's roadblock number 23. And the problem is that we need coordination for you know XYZ fixture from owner. Okay? So that's a roadblock right there. So they're not making progress. And then day number three, you come up here and you're like, day number three at the end of their tack time, they did 100% finish, but they're not done with Office 2705. The owner said they're not gonna get us an answer for quite some time. So I'm just gonna leave that room as a problem right now that we need to solve. And we will come back to it and tell the, the contractor that's coming behind that uh, that is something that we're not quite certain about and that they need to work around it. So you can track your progress either on a white, on a, on a plexiglass map, like Russell said, with markers, or in Bluebeam, you can mark the status so that you can see how they're eating through or completing rooms as they go. What else? So tracking trade partner progress, absolutely. What else can you use these maps for as you're in, as you're in this meeting? Your flow is correct. Yeah, you can track the flow. If you start to see deviations to the flow, let's say the workers aren't actually going from one, two, three, four, that for some reason they're gravitating and always doing work over here in the corridor. Why? Why? What's happening? What are they seeing? What are? What makes that easier? Do I need to adjust my tax zones? What else? One more comment. Coordinate owner provided items. Yeah, absolutely. You can coordinate uh, owner provided items. Absolutely. So you could already, before you even get to an area, say, hey, this area over here, uh, this is an owner coordinated area. And so we can rough it in, but everything you do in here has to be 100% the way the owner wants it. So when people get to these areas, we need to be um, on point and asking questions and doing an inspection real time that day, sending pictures back to the owner, coordinating, confirming, things like that. Let's get two more and then we'll be done. What else can you use these maps for in that meeting? Jason, okay. I'll, I'll say, having, oh, go ahead. By having that roadblock right there, you can look ahead and see what are the roadblocks that are in similar fashion in that building. Holy hell, let's do that. <laughs> look at uh, look ahead at, at roadblocks uh, in, the, in the future, absolutely. That is one of the main things, is that you ask trade partners, hell, we've got a roadblock over here, but why are the trade partners not looking farther out ahead? The answer is they should, and we should go ahead and start identifying these out ahead of time. Hey, I've got a roadblock over here. I have an RFI that's gonna affect that area. That way in your meetings, you can go ahead and take care of those. Absolutely, freaking lutely Russell. Thank you, one more. I think one of the things that we don't do a great job of now that is important is making sure that we are seeing milestones in how we're doing. Exactly. So the the whole, you you could put a big old honking uh, thing at, on your drawing that says milestone, sorry, milestone uh, complete framing by February 19th and just put that in as a big old fat chunking, big old honking reminder there. Hold on, let me get it bold, let me get it bigger. And you can just constantly let people know that as they're working through this form, this this uh, uh, this drawing here, that that's your milestone. So absolutely tracking milestones. Let's get some observations here. I know this is tedious and it takes time, but I'm I'm obviously I'm attempting to make a point. How is what I'm showing you now different from what the industry typically does? What are you liking about what we're talking about here? How is this different than what the industry typically does? I think it's because anybody can walk into your office 
and see exactly what's going on. 100%. How else? How is this different or better than what the industry typically does? Jason, I would say that one of the things that just pops out to me about this very thing, we experience it in our company. A project manager tends to stay in his lane. A superintendent stays in his lane. This is a collaborative work for the end result. This is a, this is not a GC, this is a CC. <laughs>